Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store. This is a story about friendship, about how one hockey player embraced one little girl's life or death battle and made it his own. It starts in a northern Alberta boomtown called Fort McMurray. I was in Fort McMurray coaching, uh, coach GM at that time, and we had a spring camp. And Colton, you know, paid to get in the camp. I still remember going there and I was confused about the systems and like, I've never worked out one day in my life. These guys are working out, we're doing circuits, they call them. A lot of new experiences for me, I guess. The first reaction was, okay, this is Bambi on skates. He was uncoordinated, you know, at that size. And I only found out later he'd grown from, I think, 5'9 to 6'3 in one summer. But you could see some skill there. He was kind of the guy that put me on the map for hockey, I think. I don't know, I just owe him a lot, I guess, and in terms of my hockey career and kind of who I've become as a person. Colton Pareko played two seasons under Thibodeau. Then he went to the University of Alaska Fairbanks. He was drafted in the third round of the 2012 entry draft by St. Louis. Early last season, Colton met a girl named Layla Anderson. Days later, the Blues were at a Halloween event for kids from the St. Louis Children's Hospital. That's when I kind of introduced myself and I was kind of talking to Colton and he designated his whole time there to me, making sure I had the best night, which I did. <laughs> A year earlier, Layla was diagnosed with a very rare autoimmune disease called HLH. My parents both have a rare cell. Put together equals me. For most cases of HLH, it attacks your organs, which is not my case. It's only isolated in my brain, which only 15 other people in the world have been diagnosed with my form of HLH. The cure for HLH is to replace the defective immune system with a healthy one. After a match was found, Layla underwent a stem cell transplant. I was told, okay, you're gonna have chemo, you're gonna lose your hair, you're not gonna look the same, and you're gonna be in isolation in the hospital for around a month, and then you're gonna go in home isolation for six months. I said, okay, let's do it. Layla was in isolation from January until the spring. Colton was a frequent visitor. As Layla recovered, so did the Blues season. When I visited her in the hospital, she was talking about, if we continue on to make the playoffs, I'm gonna be able to make it. And I'm gonna be able to make it to games, and I'm gonna be out of the hospital. And I'm like, okay, great, we're gonna continue on and gonna try to beat Winnipeg, we're gonna try to beat Dallas. And she said, if you guys can make it the third round, I should be out of the hospital. You completely changed everything when you are trapped in a single room and you can't do anything you want to do. He gave her hope and he gave her light. Likewise, Layla's fight inspired the blues. Colton came up to me in my room and Colton asked me, hey, are we going to see you at any more games? And my dad said to Colton, if you guys can make it to the Stanley Cup finals, then there's a possibility. What if I told you the Blues called and they want you at the game? What? How? Doctor said it's okay. No, he didn't. Mommy, no, he didn't. Oh my God! I'm going to Boston. Here I am, you know, at game seven and the boys win the cup and she was so happy for him. She just wanted to hug him. Best friends help each other when they are down. Best friends win their battles with each other. Best friends share the best moment of their life with each other. And that's what he did for me. This is unreal. Yes. Unreal. You're the best. You are the best. Unreal. Thanks for coming. We're so happy to have you. I think what you see with him is the genuine character. You talk to anybody, they'll tell you that the kid he is now, the, the things that, uh, you know, that he did on the ice with Layla, that's him. That's the way he's always been. I kind of chilled right now, actually. For her to be able to come to Boston, experience that, is obviously something special and something I'll never forget. It just makes me happy that she was that happy.
to see them persevering and getting their way out of last place gave me the courage to not let one dark day ruin the rest of my experience. Hi! How's it going? Good How to see you. you. We have something that we would like you to open right now. That box looks familiar. Okay. The fact that they would think about putting my name on the inside, some jewelry that they have worked their whole careers for. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't be touching this one. <laughs> the ring itself has so much meaning, and my name is in there as the inspiration of the team, and I'm, an, as some people say, an unofficial member of the team. I mean, it's, it's unreal. Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store.